Move Copy Parallel relocates a selected element to a new position by modifying the individual vertices of the target element to maintain a path parallel to the original path. If you select Make Copy from the tool settings, Move Parallel becomes Copy Parallel. The Copy Parallel tool creates a duplicate of an existing element into a position parallel to the original element. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to create the exterior and interior wall systems by offsetting the single line walls. So here we are in the MicroStation Connect Edition. Let's begin by opening the proposed restaurant DGN file. This can be found in the 05 Manipulating Elements folder of the dataset. From the Home tab in the Attributes ribbon group, we're going to set the active level to A Wall Full. Exterior. The active level is the level where you place your graphics on that will represent the exterior walls. And so now let's go ahead and zoom in to the area of the southwest corner of the restaurant near column B3. Here we will start to construct the exterior wall system. From the Home tab of the Minipulate Ribbon group, we'll select the Copy Parallel tool. And then we'll set the following options in the Tool Settings window. For the method, element. For the mode, miter. 203 for the distance. And then we'll make sure to enable use active attributes and make copy. From here, we can come into the view and issue a data point on the exterior wall line of the restaurant. Then moving the mouse to the outside will provide a data point. We have now created a 203 millimeter CMU wall line. In the tool settings window, we'll set the distance now to 102. Then, coming back into the view, we'll offset the exterior wall lines for the restaurant, creating the 102 millimeter brick veneer. With the exterior wall now complete, we will turn our focus inward to offset the interior walls. Since there are existing interior walls, we can simply match the properties to set the active level. The quickest and most effective way to match properties of an existing element is to hover the cursor over an existing element, hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, and then issue a data point. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is match the properties of an interior wall. Now, we'll hover the cursor over an interior wall line, say one of these purple lines near column B3, that makes up the office space. We'll hold down the Alt key, on the keyboard and issue a data point. And then we'll just confirm that the active level is now a wall full interior. So now that we match properties of an interior wall, our next task is to construct the interior wall systems for the office and storage area. With the copy parallel tool still active, we'll change the distance to 127. With the tool now set, we'll bring our cursor into the view and issue a data point on all the vertical lines, offsetting them in the leftward direction each time. Then we'll repeat this by issuing a data point on all the horizontal lines, offsetting them in an upward direction each time. And then when finished, we'll reset. Now that we're finished constructing the interior wall systems for the office and storage area, our next task is to construct the interior wall systems for the restrooms. For this, we'll navigate the view to the vicinity of column D4. This is where the restrooms are located. We'll copy parallel both interior walls at the restaurants inward. We'll reset, and then we'll offset the screening wall at the restrooms to the right. We'll reset, and then we'll make the Place SmartLine tool active. From here, we'll finish the restroom area by capping off the screening wall by placing a line between the endpoints. Now that we constructed the interior wall systems for the restrooms, our next task is to construct the countertop for the lounge waiting area. For this, we'll navigate the view to the vicinity of column C4. This is where the lounge waiting area is located. From here, we'll make the copy parallel tool active and set the following options in the tool settings window. For the method, 
proportion of element for the distance, 380, and make sure that use active attributes is enabled. The method portion of element allows you to copy only the selected portion of an element. We'll bring our cursor into the view and then hover over an existing countertop segment, matching the properties by using Alt plus data. We'll confirm that the active level is A floor woodwork. Then following the status bar prompt, we'll specify the first point by snapping to the upper left corner of the countertop and issue a data point. Next, we'll move the cursor to the right along the line around the arc and then snapping to the end of the arc. Here, we'll issue a data point to specify the second point. Again, we'll move the cursor to the right, this time defining the direction of the parallel copy. Here, we'll issue a data point, however, we will not reset. From the ribbon, in the Attributes button group of the Home tab, we'll set the active line style to 3 and the weight to 0. In the Tool Settings window, we'll set the distance to 127. We can press the Tab key or Enter to set this value. Then, coming back into the view, we'll move the cursor to the right and issue two data points, creating two new elements. And then when finished, we can press Reset. Along the ribbon, in the Home tab of the Attributes group, we'll now set the active line style and weight back to by level. So now that we're finished constructing the countertop for the lounge waiting area, our next task is to construct the interior wall systems for the kitchen. So for this, we'll navigate our view to the kitchen area. Next, we'll make the level A wall full interior active by matching the properties of the existing interior wall line work. Then, with the Copy Parallel tool active, we'll set the following options. For the method, element. For distance, 127. Then from here, we'll come back into the view and complete the task by offsetting the walls that will comprise the kitchen area. We'll cap off any walls, if necessary, using the Play Smart Line tool. However, at this time, we will not trim or extend any line work. We will take this task on in our next module, Modifying Elements. During this lesson, you learned how to utilize the Copy Move Parallel tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.